Hello, my name is Michael from SalesPad. This is a short video on the customer search screen and its functionality. So the SalesPad customer search allows users to quickly uh, find their customers and access the detailed uh, customer information via their individual customer cards. Now new customers can also be added by this screen given we have the proper uh, security and setup for that. Now by default, the customer search is also the first tab that will open up when you launch SalesPad. And I can verify that by right clicking and see that my auto start has been, uh, has been checked. Now there are a few um, security and uh, regular sales pad settings around the customer search screen. So first we want to make sure that we have access to it. Um, so we can go in our security editor, make sure we are highlighted on the correct um, group here. And as you can see customer search is checked so I have access to it. Um, we can also um, give access to let them allow to print or export that, uh, that grid. We also have in our settings uh, we can choose what uh, address line we are searching and uh, and some other ones as you can see there. So we have multiple fields uh, that we can search on within uh, within the screen. So first of all, most uh, most popular we have the customer. Um, this you can actually enter uh, either the customer number or the customer name in this field. Um, as, as you can see, the rest of them are pretty self-explanatory. We have contact um, for that customer, um, the phone and sales rep associated with it. Um, city, state, and zip, popular with all of our sales reps, and, uh, and statement name. Now as you can see, we also have the search options over here. Show inactive uh, just means it will show inactive customers if we want to. And the starts with, so if this box is checked, then the only results that we will get back is whatever is starting with that search criteria. If the starts with is not selected, the grid will display results with that search criteria in any part of the word. Now let's say I want to uh, search all of my customers in the state of Michigan. I can type in MI up in the state column and as you can see, all of my Michigan customers pop up. And now let's say I want to dig a little bit further and look at all my Detroit customers. Okay, so now I can see I have four Detroit customers. Now I can also do this in a completely different way. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clear the data out of here. As you can see, this clear button uh, will clear my search criteria that I've entered. Um, and then I'm going to hit the search button and I'm actually going to get a warning because I'm actually searching with no criteria, which means I'm going to bring back all of my customers that I have in the system. But we're going to go ahead and hit yes. So I can actually do that same search um, using my auto filter row here. So I can actually in the state column just type in MI and then go to the city and as soon as I hit the D button, yeah, as you see, it'll filter for Detroit, Michigan. And I have that same result here. Now let's get rid of these and I'm gonna show you one more search function that we actually have. I'm gonna hit my control F while I have my cursor highlighted in the grid down here and it'll bring up a, um, a word find, which is very similar to, if you're familiar with the Microsoft Word Find, it's exactly like that. Um, so I can actually do a real-time search um, right from here. So let's say I wanna take a look at all of my distributors that I have within the system. So I can just start to type, and as you can see, it will start to filter um, uh, on that word or on the first few characters I entered in for distributing. Now just like any grids within SalesPad, um, we do have the functions of either picking and choosing which columns we want to see so I can move the columns around. Um, I can add new columns by right clicking and using my column chooser. So I can add any column that I wish to see here. So I can do, let's just do country here. Um, we can also, like I said earlier, when we're giving access to uh, export or to print, um, that is done through the, so this little orange carrot here. Uh, you click that and as you can see we have that export to Excel here. Um, and obviously we had, um, through our security, we had false for printing so that's why it's grayed out right now. But we would be able to export this grid to Excel if need be. Uh, this works out obviously well for maybe sales reps that are going on a trip but want to have the contact info for their customers with them. So thank you for watching this video and we have many more available at our website at www.salespad.net.